directional control, which is probably its biggest benefit, is it actually is constantly monitoring the speed of the wheels so that you can stop in the shortest possible distance. Then you also have what's called trail braking, which is used entering some of the slower corners. If you think about a tire, for it to do anything well, it needs all of its capability towards that. If it's accelerating, it's gonna accelerate the hardest in a straight line. If it's braking, it's gonna brake the best in a straight line. If it's turning, it's gonna be turning with no accelerating or braking. Well, racetracks aren't square with square corners, so you end up having to blend those together. Trail braking is one of the ways we do this. You would do threshold braking to get the majority of your speed off, but the last little bit, as you're starting to add steering, you could be releasing the brake. And so you're freeing up a little bit of the tire's capacity by releasing the brake, you're taking that up with adding the steering. When you have weight on the tire, the contact patch grows, has more grip. So you want more weight on those front tires to help it turn. You do that by not releasing the brake all the way. A little bit of the weight is still on the front. You're releasing some capacity. You're filling it up with turning. What we have here is a braking exercise where we've got brake markers and then a stop box. You have to stop the car within that stop box. I like to say God lives in the brake zone. That's not only because sometimes you see him,